And then I said to 343, for monkeys, you actually look pretty good. Anyway, hello once again YouTube or Facebook, and welcome to the first ever episode of the Mega Constructs Domain Community Spotlight. I am so excited to be here today. We've got a proper little office setup. I feel like a news reporter. And l let me just break down exactly what's happening here. A few weeks ago now, we created the Mega Constructs Domain our first ever Facebook group, and the center stage for Mega Constructs Collecting in the Galaxy. And when we created it, we set everybody on the page a challenge to just start posting there. Just post your Mega Constructs collections, your customs, your dioramas, anything you want. And then I promised that at the beginning of October, I'd do a highlight video collating all the best posts we saw. I didn't expect for there to be hundreds of photos posted. It has been actually a very difficult challenge to whittle them all down to 30 contenders for today's community spotlight video. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Mega Constructs domain. It's an amazing Facebook group. I'm feeling so much warm from it and I'm seeing the community expanding on a daily basis. It's truly amazing. So first of all, we're going to start with announcing the prize winners of our launch Post. We chose two winners at random. Congratulations to Ace and Sultan and Not Crack and Cult. You guys have won an Elite Ultra each. Just PM me your address, I'll send it to you free of charge. Congratulations. I'll announce a load of YouTube giveaway winners at the end of the video and also how you can win my next giveaway. But let's, without further ado, let's crack on with this amazing content. We've got 30 awesome people from the community. I'm gonna rattle them off one by one. We're gonna enjoy their content on the screen here. These posts have been collated by all of my admin team. They are incredible and they're awesome members of the community, especially Brian Johnson. He's just been posting so much on my Facebook group. And I also apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. I'm trying my best. The first one is Warhammer Richards. He posted an awesome banished custom vehicle that's kind of like a Spectra. I I really like it a lot. Then we've got Alejandro Garcia with his drone invasion. I also like this one because it's got Halcyon Forge in. Then we've got Joan Manuel. He's got a poor ODST comic where an ODST got eaten by a cat. And it's actually a pretty funny comic strip. Then we've got Leonardo Chappie. He's got a blue Spartan in the forest. Looks awesome. Then we've got Logan Nevy. He's got Craig standing on a pile of bodies. Absolutely ruthless. Jason Machado. His Halo Infinite standoff, it has so many new Halo Infinite grunts. Jaden Wallace posted this badass ODST photo, and I resonated with it because he also said he loves ODST jazz. Martin O'Donnell is just one of my favorite people. Z Fowler, I'm very happy you joined the community. I've been seeing loads of your work on Instagram before. He posted Master Chief vs. Craig. I really hope to see more of your work here. Jamie Brinton posted five Chips Dubo Boys. I love to see those. And then Andre Diaz, inspired by Matty Crafts, he's an awesome YouTuber, posted his UNSC Outpost. That looks amazing. Marshmallow posted some ambiance photos of his Spartan Gungne in the ice and snow. And then Daniel Cockrell, who's actually one of our admins, posted the first teaser of Halo Infinite's Master Chief's Grapple Hook. Check it out. Uh, Kevin Lafrado posted his anniversary hugs, which is just an insane picture. The more you look at that, the more crazy it gets. And then Jacob Dennison posted a custom Warhammer painted Atriox. Looks so badass. Luke Lapire showed the old versus the new elites. I love to see comparisons of Mega Blocks versus Mega Constructs. Shows how far they've come as a company. Then Ben Hubbard posted a, a weird picture of two Halo Infinite Warhogs that have been smashed together. I love it all the same. Then William Gavin Parker, another admin on our Discord as well as our Facebook, he posted his Halo Infinite helmet. I cannot wait to get hold of that. Connor Dickinson made my face go red with envy. He had the Covenant dropship, which is such a sought after vehicle. And actually someone else that had the Covenant dropship was Amy Pilgrim with her huge Covenant display. Another guy I'm really happy to see join the community is Spiteful Mega Constructs. He posted this picture of Halo 3, 13th anniversary Anniversary, and he's amazing. You should follow him at Spiteful117. Corey Toes, just a beautiful picture of Halo Infinite's Master Chief. And Jara JL, his insane zombie prison diorama. This reminds me so much of The Walking Dead. It's my favorite season. And then also amazing to see Kevin Hurd join the community. So many big names. He posted an insane diorama. So many grunts invading so many marines. And 
He also has the Facebook group Halo Collector. You should definitely check him out. Aiden Cha had this super smooth animation. Take a look. And then Dwayne Jensen had an insane haul this week. Look at all that Halo Infinite. Cesar Sanchez posted this insane thumbnail for one of his upcoming videos. Really reminds me of Halo Reach. Very cool indeed. And then Sean Kinsella actually made me reconsider my position on Marine Snipers from Halo Hero Series 12. I didn't really like them, but when you look at them with other weapons, they look really cool. Josh Owen recently posted an alternative Jackrabbit build, which I actually like more than the original. And to finish off today, Andrew Kaufman had this pretty funny video of an old Spartan walking, which I mean, he's an also a really old member of the community, so I'm really happy to see him here. And I, I, it just made me laugh. <laughs> oh, that is 30 members of our community. So insane to see the love pour into this new Facebook group, to see it burst to life. We're almost at 400 members. And just to see that this community not only is alive, but it's bursting with life. I mean, to be, I was away from the community for a few years to come back and see that it is just doing so well. You know, we are only on the up and up. Thank you so much for tuning in today and thank you to everyone that supported this community by posting. I hope that you made it into the spotlight and if you didn't, I still had a look at your post and it was still amazing. And there are more and more chances every month to be featured in one of these videos. We're gonna do this at the beginning of every single month and from now on, each month will have a theme. So the theme for October is collection posts. You can post a picture of your collection or a video of your collection highlighting your most precious pieces or what you army build the most, anything at all. The Mega Constructs domain for the next month, I want to see as many collection posts as possible. And then at the beginning of November, I'll collate them all together for another Community Spotlight video. And the giveaway for the November Community Spotlight video will be a Mark 7 Spartan. So all you need to do to win this is like our post and then comment down below or comment as a separate post with your collection. It's completely up to you. We'll collate them all together before next month. We've also had a ton of prize winners throughout the month. I've been doing loads of prize giveaways at the end of my videos. We've got from the Black Series Kratos, Starmia, the 2020 Amazon Hall, Juan1174, Maverick ODST was Ghost Eagle. My girlfriend picked Isaiah Toez as her winner. And then a Gungnir hero was given to Mugrian C, or however you pronounce that. He actually won it on my Discord. You should check that out. It's a really cool place to be. And I've contacted all those people separately anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This was the very first episode of the Domain Community Spotlight. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying the community. This place is only going to grow more and more. And the Marine Mongoose is signing off. Whoa!